Hey guys, what is up? The Neocubist here. Welcome to episode 6 of my Minecraft 1.19 survival let's play. If you missed the last two episodes, definitely go and check them out. This one will not make any sense otherwise. But yeah, let's get straight into it. So we're going to be making an enchanting area. We had a YouTube user by the name of Bree suggest this. So again, if you have any ideas for the series, please put them down in the comments below. I am reading every single comment and I will prove it by leaving a heart on it. That actually rhymed. That was, that was pretty cool. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to be building an enchanting area inside this very cozy, like berry filled area in the back. We're going to make sure they're not all fully, you know, like, like full length. So we'll shear them. Um, but I, I thought I had all this stuff ready. And then I was like, well, you need bookshelves too, dude. <laughs> so I made all the bookshelves I could, and it is a total of six. So that's not nearly enough. Lucky for us, we do have a ton of wheat from a, uh, village that we raided. I mean, uh, politely took some resources from. And yeah, we're going to have to make an area for the cows because we don't have an area for the cows. And well, that's kind of, uh, <laughs> it's kind of impossible to just like, you know, pull leather out of thin air. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go up there where we grew a chunk tree and, uh, we're going to check that out. And, uh, first of all, let's say hi to Tom. How you doing today, buddy? Would you like to hold? No, you, actually I was going to say, do you want to hold a new item? But that wouldn't be the same. He's got to hold the trap door. And look, he'll even follow us up here. <laughs> oh gosh, he swims way faster than me. No, 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 go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Okay, okay, he's fine. I just don't want him to ever get stuck, you know what I mean? So, okay, he's good, he's good, good. Well, that was exciting, but up here, remember, we did change this last episode, and man, it looks so much better. You just hop up here, go up the stairs. Oh yeah, you know what, we forgot to say hi to Buddy. Well, hello, Buddy, how you doing today? You, you, oh, oh. Oh, he, he doesn't even want to see me. Oh, no, he just didn't realize it was me. Well, how you doing? Do you, would you like a piece of steak? There you go. Oh, oh you want some mutton as well? Okay. Oh, no, you can't give him mutton. Okay. Well, bye-bye, buddy. We're going to be uh, adventuring today. So we got to start a cow area. So I feel like, you know, the field across the way is a good place to start a cow area. But we did flatten this out. We're growing a chunk tree. It's not fully grown, but we will take some wood from it. Um, but I think we're going to do our cow farm over there. Um, there are cows over there somewhere, like there, so we're going to get them to there. And we're gonna, just going to build a little pen and grow some. Grow some. Uh, but yeah, let me get some wood real quick. I'll come back when I'm done with that. And uh, yeah. Alright, so this should be enough wood. It's over two stacks, so it will be enough wood. Um, I, I feel like I should stand here and, you know, at least plant back some of these. But to be honest, we have so many oak saplings and there's so many in this world that I think it'll be okay. Let's go sleep. And get some cows going. Okay, okay. Buddy is right in my face. I have not slept in the bed since Buddy has a... Uh, well, you know, he's just sleeping. He's just sleeping on my stomach. You know, he just likes the warmth. So maybe that's not too bad. It does block my camera view a little bit, but that's okay. We won't we, we won't get that meta about it. Um, we do need to make a more permanent bridge to get over there. Um, and I also kind of want to make something... Yeah, 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 yeah. I definitely want to make this. So, I'm going to spend the next little bit, you will see on the replay mod what I'm doing, um, but I'm going to drill a little bit of a hole through this mountain. I'm going to regret saying this because it's going to take like 30 minutes, but I want to have a direct access to get over to that ocean and uh, subsequently build a bridge. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you guys. Uh, you can enjoy it on the time lapse. <laughs> Well, yeah, dude, this turned out a lot better than I thought it would. You know, I had to stare at this. It didn't take 30 minutes. It took like seven minutes. I was being a little over dramatic, but I was staring at this, you know, gray stone the whole time. And when I finally broke through and got to see that in front of me. Yeah, that's a pretty good feeling. And yeah, look, our chicken farm is like really close because I keep hearing them, you know, make noises. And I'm pretty sure I could like, you know, dig this into that. And so we could like literally just grab the chest from in there, which would be kind of cool. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's just, it's like literally right there. Yeah. Huh. So we're getting eggs now, which is nice. And uh, I do want to make a little bit of a bridge here. You can see we have quite the inventory full of stuff, but this world is turning out to be something else, man. It's turning out to be quite incredible, which makes me very happy. Because I was worried at first, you know, when I was making this world, like, oh, you know, maybe, maybe it won't be the best thing ever. But, you know, it's okay. It's turning out pretty good, man. It's turning out pretty good. 
So let's make a couple of chests here just so that we can store a few things because our inventory is a little jam blasted full of stuff. Um, you know, it's better than not having anything. But yeah, we're gonna, you know, maybe put some of this stuff in here because we don't need all this right now. Okay, so what do we need for a bridge? Well, you're asking the wrong guy because I have no idea. Um, I'm gonna assume some fence, so we're just gonna make a little bit of fence. That's probably too much. And then we'll probably need some more of these and then some logs. So pretty simple, pretty easy. Okay, so I'm just gonna do a three wide bridge all the way to over there. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Okay, there we go. So it's quite a long bridge. I definitely do not have enough wood to like build any <laughs> to build any amount of supports here. So we'll have to go get more wood in the future. But for right now, we'll just kind of I don't know build a little bit of it out. We got to figure out too what kind of spacing we're gonna do here. Probably not a good idea to waste a bunch of logs in the ground. So I will go ahead and remove those. Okay, so I'm gonna have to go get more wood, which is fine. What kind of space? One, two, three, four. Yeah, and then one, two, three, four, five. Okay. <laughs> we'll move these back because I, it's easier to fix it now than it is to fix it later if you catch my drift because this thing is huge. And our pickaxe, yeah, has 57 durability left. So we're getting low on that. So I did make another pickaxe preemptively just so that we are prepared. Because I didn't mine all the wood up there. I did mine like most of it, but... Maybe some more of it has grown now. One, two, three, four. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. So yeah, I'll be right back. I'm gonna get wood and then we'll finish the bridge. But yeah, dude, this is cool. We got a straight shot into the, oh, this world's turning out awesome. And uh, of course I wanna add you know, something here. I don't want this to just be like this, but we'll figure it out when we have more wood. And there we go, guys. We have a nice bridge. Um, I sort of did, you know, a little bit funky. You know, I kind of made, you know, the fence, you know, be two on this side and then kind of, you know, two going this way and then alternated, you know, just to give it a little bit of variation. And, uh, you know, it looks nice when you run across it. I don't know how it looked on the time lapse, but I think it would look pretty cool. I, that's the hope, at least. Let's, let's look at it from a little bit of a higher angle here and uh, see if she looks good. Yeah, looks fine. I mean, honestly, it's just a bridge. <laughs> hey, I had fun building it, which is a very important factor as well. So now we got to find some cows. That is operation number two. And uh, we got to build for a pen for them. And I don't know exactly where I want this thing to be. And we do have some sheep over here as well. Um, but this seems like somewhat of a good area. So I'll just start like, you know, getting rid of some of the grass. Which is, this is a very good way to get rid of grass, by the way, if you didn't know. This is very effective. Much better than breaking it by hand. For, you know, a medium-sized area. If it's a really huge area, don't do this. It would take forever. Oh, no, I'm sorry, Mr. Sheep. I'm not trying to disturb you. And there we go. Now we got a nice, decently sized area. And I don't want it to be like, you know, a square fence. So I'm just going to, you know, place fence in a circle just like this. And then we'll just kind of connect it over here and then we'll just actually connect it with the fence. Now I don't have any more logs because I kind of lost them all. Uh, you know, I, I, I did use quite a bit of fence there. I did not mean to, but you know, it just happened. And uh, yeah, I made so much fence that we're pretty much out of wood now, but that's that's besides the point. It's okay. Do we still have any, yeah, we, do. <laughs> we have a little bit of wood. Probably enough to make, you know, you know how you typically do these farms where the only way to get in and out of them. I'm probably going to do it over here on the front. And we'll do a three wide one. I know you can use carpet. I know there's, a, you know, a better way. I, I say better because, you know, I don't really know what that means because these both work the same way. Maybe it's a, a less resource intensive way. Um, but in no capacity is this very resource intensive, let me tell you what I do right here. So literally all you have to do is you just make some stairs. Oh, I did it the wrong way. <laughs> you just make some stairs right here. 
and then you put any solid block of your choice, and then you put more stairs, and then you literally just slap some ladders on the back. That's all you need. And look, we already got a sheep in here, and we didn't even try. We might as well lure another sheep into here. I mean, not lure, you know, because that sounds bad, um, but give the opportunity to come live in this wonderful place where you'll be well fed and uh, you'll have a lot of friends. <laughs> we'll put it that way. Let's get these sheep in there. I may have gotten a little bit lazy here. Oh no, did they just straight walk away as far as they possibly could? The second I put away the wheat, they're like, nope. So we'll just put this fence back here in a second. We'll get them far enough in here to where I can run over there. There we go. Okay, ha 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 ha, sorry. And then we'll go ahead and give them some wheat. As promised, you'll be well fed. Okay, there you go. Now we gotta figure out how to get cows over here. So we have the sheep solved, which is awesome. So we got two baby sheep. Yes, we got two baby sheep. We got a light gray, we got a medium gray, we got a black, and we got two whites. Pretty cool. A nice variety of wool. And uh, yeah, I think there's cows over here, like somewhere. I, I see an alpaca or a llama just sitting there gracefully. And I may also want to make some sort of temporary pathing for them because you guys know how they can be um, swimming. So we'll just make like a little bit of a path here. Just completely temporary. I'll remove it later. Okay. And then that should ensure that they can get across smoothly. Uh, I mean, you should probably do like, hold on. I'm just going to break this right here. Just so that, you know, it's as smooth as possible. I, I hate to dirty up the landscape, but we're going to need another one here for sure. Okay, there we go. That should be just fine. We don't mm, we don't need to do that, but we're going to do it anyways. We're overachievers here. All right, now the cows actually aren't that far away, which is good. I see a big group of them right there, so I'm going to try to snag all four of those. Because that's the only thing holding us back now, pretty much, is just breeding these guys. So we got one cow on the hook, we got two. Okay, and then can we get these three and four? I'm trying to make sure, come on, catch up, buddy. Come on, okay, we got the three and the four. We even got a pig, which they don't even like. Oh no, we don't have the pig. I was gonna say, they don't even like, they don't, they like carrots, don't they? Okay, so I'll bring these guys back and then uh, we'll talk about a plan. And there we go, guys. We got our four cows in here. I, if I chose to show that on the time lapse, it was pretty cool because they would follow in a perfect single file line across those paths over there. And uh, yeah, so now we got two baby cows. Everything's going quite well, dude. Everything's going quite well. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn my simulation distance up to like 30 chunks and we're gonna load 30 chunks as well. So as far as we can see is how far it's going to simulate things like growing and stuff like that. So the trees from all the way over here will continue growing and uh, hopefully the cows will as well. Now if this does cause too much lag, we'll have to, you know, we'll have to shut it down. But once it loads in all the chunks, the lag should start to dissipate quite a bit. So I want to grab a little bit of wood because I want to make this look a little better. Right now it's just kind of a sheer entrance thingy and it, it looks a little strange. It looks a little strange. So what I'm going to do is kind of round this off a little bit. Um, something like this. Yeah, that is fine. Just so that it doesn't look so strange because at the you know current time, it just looks... I was going to say at the current moment, it just looks weird and it does look weird. So let's kind of flatten this out a little bit. And uh, we'll kind of add some wood in there. We don't have any wood, but it is a good time to sleep. So I might as well just, you know, plop the bed down and I'll meet you guys in the morning. Now, before we sleep, how many eggs do we have? Okay, a pretty good number. Wow, okay. So things are looking up in that regard. Um, I guess I could make a few could make a few barrels while we're waiting. Might be something nice to have. You know, okay. Make a barrel. <laughs> uh yeah, well, we have one at least. Okay, so let's head on top of the house and kind of show you what I've done. Um, if you watched episode four, that is the one where I flattened out the top and added the fence. Um, but, you know, I was growing a chunk tree and I kept mining it and I kept mining it and then I was running low on saplings. Do we have any potatoes fully grown? 
Yes, this one's fully grown. Okay, so that came that gave me five potatoes. This is what I've been farming on my Skyblock server, Neo Network. I've been uh, farming potatoes. And uh, there's a tool in there that allows you to get like 15 times drop rates. So I'll get like 40 potatoes every time I farm a crop. You know, I'm, I'm getting pretty OP. I'm getting pretty OP. The 200 days video I made on that Skyblock server didn't get a whole ton of views, but I do encourage you to check it out. It took me like 40 hours to make, and it was a really cool video. But irregardless of any of that jumbo mumbo, look at all this up here, dude. I spread the trees, you know, out a little bit. That way, you know, the leaves have room to kind of, you know, expand. That way, when you mine them, you actually get more saplings. So I'm going to mine all this wood. This is like the fourth time we've mined in this uh, mined wood in this episode, but we need a lot of wood. Um... Hopefully we can get to the enchanting. I mean, there's a chance that we won't because it's going to take so long for the cows to grow. But at least we have this cool bridge and we have an area going. Like, look, you can see that even though they're that far away, you can see they're still being simulated. Look, they're still moving like they normally would. I know none of them are moving right now, but to be fair, they don't really move that much. Wait, do they not move? Well, either way, they're being simulated when they're that far away, okay? They should be moving like normal. Are they really? Are they just turning? Yeah, the dog barked. Huh. So I, I guess they're still being... Oh, 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 oh. Okay, tree. I guess they're still being simulated. Who knows? Let me get some wood. All right, dude. I give up. I keep trying to mine all the trees, and then I realize there's so many saplings on the ground. Like, they just keep growing back and back and back, and there's, like, there's just no way to keep up, man. Oh, there's a piece of wood in here? Dude, not cool, man. Not cool at all. Um, but yeah, this thing seems to work pretty well. I mean, we're getting a ton of saplings, getting a ton of trees, uh, a ton of wood, I guess. Look at that. Almost three stacks of logs. So we can definitely go back over there and fix that. It's just like, I'm going to wait for a little bit just to make sure I don't miss any saplings because there's quite a bit just on the ground here. And uh, if I want to make this thing properly crazy and uh, with a ton of sap, Okay, I think it's already that way. <laughs> I think we'll be fine. Emergency escape! It's so sweet, dude. So sweet. Um, so yeah, we'll just do like a basic kind of log tie entrance, um, something, you know, simple. Oh my gosh, I was almost hitting the head. No, 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 no. Can you stop? Yeah, I was going to say, aren't, aren't you, aren't you a little far away to be hitting me there, buddy? Um, so we'll do something like one, two, three, and then, you know, kind of like the same thing over here, a very basic entrance. I'm not going for anything fancy schmancy, just your standard kind of log tie entrance and we'll, you know, throw a couple slabs on it and call it good. You can see, you know, that looks a lot better than just having a blank hole in the wall if you catch my drift. Now, this is kind of like a rift. I don't really know what's in here. I haven't really explored it. But I just want to kind of leave it open or maybe put glass there because it looks kind of cool, dude. Or maybe this could be a secret entrance to our enchanting area. I don't know, man. I don't know. But I thought that was cool, so I just kind of left it there. Maybe I shouldn't leave it there, but, like, it looks cool, so I want to leave it there. Um, we'll build this one block back. So we'll put this here. Oh, shovel's already in my inventory. I was like, where's my shovel? Okay, so one, two, three, one, two, three. And then again, the simple kind of log tie area. Something like that. That looks a whole lot better already. So we can go and check on our cows, but I kind of already know the answer. Um, as far as the chickens go, if I throw all these eggs, which I could totally throw all the eggs, I, I said I was going to wait till I have a double chest, but I kind of want to make them go a little bit quicker. So we'll just like, I'm going to do this just because I am afraid. No, 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 this is the wrong spot. I was going to say, I am going to do this. You don't really need that anymore. I was going to say, I am kind of afraid that some chickens are going to escape here. So I'm going to go ham on the clicks. Okay, nothing. See what I mean? If you if you go too fast, then if you spawn one, they just, like, don't go in the right spot. Maybe I need to throw them further down. I don't know. No, 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 no. Oh, dude, come on. Okay, well, we got, like, one more chick in there. You know what? It's, it's okay. It's okay. Let's go check on the baby cows. Are any of them even grown? Because I'm curious to see how the simulation distance works. Because it doesn't simulate them moving. But it technically simulates them living, I guess? So it's kind of like a... I'm not really so sure what's going on with it. But if they're not fully grown, I don't know how in the heck I'm going to be able to do this in one episode. We may have to wait until next weekend. But, you know, isn't exactly what I wanted to do. Uh, we can't, So we can breed them again, but the babies are not fully grown yet. Interesting. 
Okay. So we'll have more babies. That means we'll have four babies and four adults, which will eventually mean... Okay. Well, maybe we should just go AFK and wait for a little bit. Um, they don't have any light inside their pen. Um, maybe I should put a few torches on the outside. It's not the best. Okay. Minecraft, thank you. <laughs> I was going to say... Yeah, that happens on the server, too, and people are like, oh, your server sucks, it's laggy, and I'm like, no, that's like a vanilla Minecraft thing. I don't know why they haven't fixed that, I'm not sure. I guess they haven't really been thinking about their performance of the game for quite some time. They say they have a whole division working on performance, but I'd love to see, I'd love to see that, because it seems like it gets worse every update. I guess they're adding more stuff, and they did double the world size. Ah, whatever. I'm going to sit here AFK for a while, let them grow, and, uh, yeah. Um, so I fell asleep in real life. <laughs> and uh, now it's like 12 a.m. Instead of me getting done with like, like at 8 a.m. And we still only have... <laughs> we have six cows. So I don't think we're going to get done with this this week. I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to fall asleep. I just laid down and like, you know, I was like, I'm going to rest my eyes for a little bit. Nah, you know, dangerous words. So thank you guys for watching. <laughs> really do apologize. The secret code for today's episode is going to be 2089. So put that down in the comments below if you want to show me that you watched the entirety of today's episode. I am sorry that we didn't get, you know, to the enchanting, but we'll get to it next week, I promise. And, uh, yeah, hope everyone has a wonderful rest of your weekend. And, uh, thank you guys so much for choosing to watch me. Bye!